So one question, okay. why people who came from other countries, they have uh, uh, houses and homes and own uh, countries and why they got second free house in New York. It's not a homeless person. People who come to the United States, they have some... Yeah. Oh, uh, no, you're yeah. right. So, so New York City's right to shelter law is only meant for the uh, citizens of, of New York who are homeless. It's, it's not meant for citizens of other countries who just crossed our border last week. The mayor is completely misinterpreting this law on purpose and insisting that these individuals who co have come to New York City are entitled to free housing and it's frustrating to immigrants that worked hard came to the city never asked for anything and now they're being forced to pay the rent or uh, the costs of housing these individuals who crossed illegally into the country it's just it's lopsided the mayor has to stop interpreting misinterpreting this right to shelter law he needs to tell the president and Chuck Schumer who's done absolutely nothing to address this issue to secure the border undo the executive order that Biden put in place. We in the House, Republicans, we passed a bill to fix and end this crisis. Schumer is sitting on it, will not allow it up for a vote. If Schumer believes in democracy, then allow this bill to come to the floor for a vote so the people's representatives can speak on it. So we're asking, just allow it to come for the vote. See if it passes. If it doesn't pass, then we'll go back to the drawing board. But so far, he has done nothing to address this issue. So he's just as complicit as President Biden when it comes to creating the chaos that we're seeing at the southern border. Mm. Uh, how can we uh, be sure that people who got, got this free apartment here, uh, they don't have own houses and apartment in own country because they, it's like we give a free second uh, you know, they, house. They, but, they, but that's not, see, they, they just want it, they don't care whether they have a house or don't have a house. The, the bottom line is they're here in New York City, they're claiming they don't have a place to stay and so the mayor thinks it's the responsibility of all the taxpayers to foot the bill and pay for this un, like un, unsustainable amount of money that we just simply cannot afford. And their only solution, the mayor and the governor, is to ask the federal government for more money so they can open up more shelters. And Justin Brannon actually supported that. He, he came to Washington, Councilman Justin Brannon, to lobby for more federal funding to open up more shelters. It's just, it's disgraceful. They should be telling the president to secure the border. Instead, we are a nation of immigrants. We are welcoming of immigrants. We are a, a very diverse city. But this is wrong, what they are doing. They're taking away parks, schools, senior centers, and facilities. Facilities, uh, and turning them over to people who just entered our country the wrong way. And, and two-thirds of those cases in 2021 were denied asylum because they were not legitimate asylum seekers. Half were denied asylum in court under Joe Biden. His, his federal court, right? They are being denied asylum because they are not legitimate asylum seekers. And that's the bottom line, is we need to differentiate between the difference between legitimate asylum seekers and those who aren't, and stop incentivizing people to enter our country and take advantage of our laws and our generosity. Right.